Friends, once again, welcome to the Western Wall or the Wailing Wall, where there is the remnant of the Jewish Temple. You know, the Jewish Temple is where the, the Ark of the Covenant was kept, and in the Ark of the Covenant, there was the Torah, which means the Word of God, the Old Testament, especially the Pentateuch. There also fell on the staff, the rod, and many other things, which is reminded of the. the presence of Yahweh, the presence of God among his people. That the Ark of the Covenant would use to accompany the people when they even came from Egypt after slavery. And throughout the 40 years in the desert, the Ark of the Covenant, the Lord was working with them, the Word of God, which is spiritual life, was working with them in the, in the, as they were on their journey through the desert. But this is the word that accompanied them, and it's the same word that continues to accompany us also uh, in Matthew into our lives and it strengthens us, it encourages us, it corrects us. And this is the Western world whereby the whole Old Testament for the Jews is, is the basis of the world world, is the Old Testament, which even we as Christians also believe in. And now, uh, here in the Western world is where the remnants of uh, the Jewish temple uh, is. And as we shall see here this side, the Jewish temple um, was destroyed many times. And what remains is the wall. That's why they call it the wedding wall, the western wall. And uh, in this place, a hotel in in this place, of course, uh, as the, in this place of the uh, the wailing wall, the, when we see the our brothers the Jews also nodding their heads as they pray, uh, they are first of all saying that's a moment of consecration, but it's also like a crying over that house, that place of prayer, where which was destroyed some time back because of different uh, reasons. Which was destroyed, so they're kind of like crying over, crying over the sins of uh, those who destroyed us. And so we pray that yeah. also uh, we may learn to pray and to cry over uh, our own sins, but also the sins of those who do bad to others. And uh, in this place, it's the holy of holies for the Jews. It's built here, the wall which we shall see in a short time, and we shall see it's a place of holy of holies for the Jews, just as the holy sepulchre, the tomb of Jesus, is uh, is for the Christians. Uh, it, the, the also here, the, the Western Wall is for the for the Jews, the place where the remnant of the holy temple is kept. Yes, as you know, in the Jewish culture, there is respect for women and respect for men. And there is this clear distinction. Men pray together alone, women pray together alone. So this side that we see is a section for the women, and the other side is a section for men. This is a, a culture, but with the culture is also connected to the religion, religion, which is a way of praying. And the, each group prays together in peace, wherever they are, as men, or wherever they are, as women. This is a Jewish culture, and it's a beautiful something uh, that happens here in this context of Jerusalem. This is there, where we can see, that side there. That's where the wailing wall is, as we shall see also. The many Jews throughout the day, they pray. And um, one interesting thing is also the fact that in order to pray, you have to cover your head with what they call a kippah. Within a short time, we are also going to cover the head, the head with a kippah, in order to enter the holy place for the, our brothers, the Jews, where they pray from. Many times, generally, the Jews pray throughout the day, of course, throughout the night, either at home or in the temple. These are the two movements of the Jews. Either they pray at home and they light candles, or they pray in the temple. So that movement, especially in the mornings and in the evenings, they pray in these places. Like right now, many tourists from all over the world gather here in Jerusalem, because Jerusalem is the center of all nations. And we are praying for you, even here in the Western World. May God bless you and your families, and all your intentions again here in the Western World. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, dear friends, uh, we are here almost entering the Western Wall, and uh, you see uh, we are putting on the kippah, uh, the covering our heads in order to go and pray in the, in the, in the wall, uh, near the presence of the Lord. Once again, we pray and thank you for the Western Wall in Jerusalem.
wish you the best, the best blessings upon you and your loved ones. So at the Western Wall, I'm um, going to pray for you. They put sometimes the papers in the background, the papers uh, with the intentions. We are the Holy Cross, this is the main, remaining wall, of the, the remnant of the wall of the temple built by Solomon. So I'm also going to pray as we well. uh, the children who have been singing here. Non mais ça va, c'est des poumons parce que quand même il y a plus de rien, on respire mal, on est clair que ça va. My heart is enjoying to hear the song. Your heart is enjoying to visit me. So once again, as the Western Wall, the central place of worship for the brothers, the Jews, and this was the remnant. It's under the construction because on top there is also uh, the well, the mosque, the mosque of our brothers, the Muslims too. So here yeah, is the remnant of the wall and where the Jews come and pray as we can see some of them here. There is a wooden bridge here. The wooden bridge is that which connects to those who are going up there on the Alaksa Mosque to pray, especially those who are not actually, um, we can say, uh, they must either Muslims themselves or Jews themselves. So they move through the wooden bridge as we can see. And then the separation of the women and men as we saw. The women are there outside praying and the men are inside praying. It's beautiful to pray. It's beautiful to pour out our hearts to the Lord, to tell Him what He already knows. And in praying, uh, we don't need to know that this is from this tribe, this, this religion. Everyone can pray, everyone can pour out his uh, heart or her heart to the Lord. And here we are united with our brothers to, just, to pray with them, to pray together, but praying for peace. As the sun says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we pray for peace in our hearts, peace in our uh, in the world, peace wherever we are, so that we may be instruments of peace to all the people that we meet every day. God bless once again from the ancient remnants of the Jewish temple built by Solomon, and that was destroyed, and this is what remained here in Jerusalem. And for the Jews, this is the central place of worship. The central place of worship for them is here. We are blessed to be here. We thank God for this great gift. We wish you the best to may the Lord quench all your desires of your hearts and grant you all that you need in mind, body, heart, and soul. The Lord bless once again. This is the entrance from the when we're entering the western wall, and the dwelling wall. Of course, the section for the ladies is the other side where they went to pray. And we men, we were here this side praying together. And right now, we are towards our exit here, where we shall take either the Damascus Gate or one of the places to the Zion Gate. And, uh, but before that, we shall be able to also see the, 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 the three aspects here, especially the remnant of the temple and also the, the, the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the, 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 the doom, the doom, the doom of the rock as well. We shall be able to see it from on top uh, within a few short time. So once again, here we are in uh, the Welling Wall. Like so dear friends, once again we are here trying to look at the Western Wall, the Welling Wall from a distance, from on top. And we saw the mosque we were talking about here, the Al-Aqsa, which is the third place for the Muslims. And we have the Dome of the Rock, which is not a mosque, and on which it is believed, according to the tradition, that the, the story of creation took place there. That the, it's like in the Genesis, and we hear the story of creation that God created Adam and Eve, is took place there. And also about uh, the encounter with Jacob, which is also believed to be there. And uh, from this same rock, we see that the temple of the Lord, which uh, now we have been talking about, Will be built on this rock just down there, which we just saw right now, where the central place for the Jews is. So we see that in this holy place for the Jews, it is where for them is the holy of holies. And we unite with our brothers, the Jews, to pray for our brothers, the Muslims, to pray for our brothers, the Christians, so that all God's people can always pray for peace in the world, so that we may live together as one people with the one God. So we greet you once again from the Welling Wall. I know, I know it's a Welling Wall. It is a place of 
crying, of crying, but in our lives, the Lord has taken place as well. And we would like to offer it to the Lord so that He may console us and comfort us always in all our ways. Let us pour our prayers to Him in every way. In the Jerusalem, the great year, may there be peace that has peace in the world, peace in Jerusalem, peace in our homes. Amen.